Hello, and welcome to the Haiku P podcast. Despite everything that's going on in the world, time seems to be flying by this year, and it's already May. Which would make this episode 10 of the third series of the podcast. And there's lots to tell you about today. Let's start with a journal, which, as you will know, is now out and covers the episodes Animals, Love and Recipes, as well as a couple of Renku. Thank you very much to everyone who's bought it so far. It's only available as a print journal and only at Amazon. It was by far the easiest way to do it without being too complicated. I'm very grateful to you all for the positive feedback you've given me and for helping me along the way. Thanks, everyone. I admit to being very nervous about it, particularly as I was unable to get my hands on a proof copy. They don't send them to Switzerland. So a massive shout out to my lovely daughter Imogen, who lives in London, and who became the recipient of my proof copy, and spent quite some time going through it with me. It's really becoming a family affair, which is nice. There's been a bit of a change to the show notes for these podcast specials. Up till now, I've been putting all the details of the poets in the show notes, Thanks to the popularity of the podcast, I'm delighted to say we've more and more submissions and our little community is growing. So I've taken the opportunity to start a poet's directory. You should find details of all today's poets in the directory, but let me know if I've missed someone. And as the weeks go by, I'll make sure that everyone who's submitted to the podcast and had work read out will be in the directory. So please check it out and make sure that you're happy with what's in there. I've used the information you've given me, but maybe there are some updates, new books or blogs that you'd like to be included. Now it's all sorted out by first names. After all, we're becoming a community of friends, I hope, and friends use first names, don't they? Oh my, I have lots of thank yous in today's podcast, and here's another one. Thank you very much to all of you who noticed the new Buy Me a Coffee button on the website and have bought me a coffee. It was terribly exciting to get the email notification, so thank you. If you're wondering what on earth I'm on about, when you go to the website, you'll see a new orange Buy Me A Coffee button. It allows you, if you want to, no pressure, to donate, whenever you feel like it, to the work I do on the podcast. Now a little bit of news on the PTV moments. If you remember when I started... I said I'd keep it going as long as I was well. I am well, but I've injured my neck again, which makes it hard to post as much as I would like. And as the lockdown is easing here in Switzerland, and thankfully in other places around the world, I'm going to reduce the posting of PTV moments from today. But don't worry, my plan's to keep it going, but at the moment just three times a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. As long as you keep sending me videos, of course. And don't forget when you do. Please send the videos in landscape mode. My thanks to everyone for the support for this project. Have you subscribed to the YouTube channel yet? If not, why not? No excuses. I'll put the link in the show notes. Anyway, enough of me wittering on. It's time to hear some haiku and senryu. As usual, I'll start with pieces of work published elsewhere. And then I'll move on to pieces that were written especially for us. And a reminder, if you haven't submitted to the Ageing podcast, you still have time, as the deadline is the 1st of June. It's easy, and I'm more or less house-trained for politeness, so don't be afraid to send me email submissions. Let's continue with those previously published works. The first two are from Haiku in English, The First Hundred Years. Marlene Mountain Above the mountain, mountains of the moon. Michael Seegers In the eggshell after the chick has hatched. And now one from Alan Summers, from The Comfort of Crows. Every goodbye falls differently, last snow. And finally, from Debbie Strange. 
labyrinth I walk into and out of myself, which achieved third place in the 2018 San Francisco International Competition for Haiku, Senryu and Tanka. Well done. Now it's time for Haiku and Senryu that were written by you, especially for us. And I'll start with poets who've not written for the podcast before. Anna Maris is from Sweden and is a teacher of haiku. She writes haiku in Swedish and English. Her poems have been anthologized in ten different languages, including Japanese, Bulgarian and Farsi. She has two single collections of haiku in Swedish. And her latest haiku collection, Life, Death, Etc., is published by Red Moon Press in the US. Aura, I unfold it into the star night sky. Next from India, Srinivas S., who's a phonologist by training and an English teacher by accident. He lives and works in Chennai, and his downtime interests include cricket and poetry. Hey, snap, mine too. He started writing haiku only a year ago, and he likes the form because it allows him ample opportunity to record simple moments even when on the move. Clear day. At the horizon, the sky, the sea. Next up is Faye Brinsmead from Australia. Until relatively recently, she's concentrated on short fiction, which has been published in many US and UK publications. But she's been a lifelong reader of haiku. Yet surprisingly, she hasn't written many herself, until now. So we're honoured, Faye. Thank you very much. For writing for us. Dandelion puffs. All the phases of the moon. And so to Gary Hitmeyer, who writes for us from the US, where he lives in what sounds like a beautiful area of New York State, the Hudson River Valley. One of the things he enjoys, apart from haiku of course, are BBC crime dramas. You know what Gary, I used to enjoy them too, but I find that many of them are now filmed in the dark. I just can't see them. Am I alone in finding this, I wonder? Brisk afternoon. Through a hole in the roof. Insults. Kat Lehman is an established poet. She's been published in Frog Pond, Mayfly and Rattle, to name just a few publications. And she's recently published a new book, Stumbling Toward Happiness. High Bun and Hybrid Poems Across the Winter Where a Crocus Is Returning to Europe, let's hear first from Lavana Cray from Romania. She has been awarded the status of Master Haiga Artist by the World Haiku Association and has been exhibited in Japan and Italy. The rain adjusts my dress to an appropriate size. And now to one of my favourite cities, Dublin, to hear from David J. Kelly. He's been widely published too, and has recently brought out his latest work, Small Hadron Divider, which was published by Red Moon Press this year. Though the sky has no edges, horizon. And the last of the poets new to the podcast, Damir Damir, who was born in present-day Montenegro. He describes himself as a professional sailor, a poet by vocation, and a Dharma bum by choice. He too has published collections of haiku. And you'll find more details in the show notes and the poet's directory. Where a life ends, the shapes of April wind. And now to Monaco which are written by some familiar names, haiku poets who've been featured on the podcast before. A massive thank you to all of you for returning. Tomislav Seklochia Longing to belong, first snow. K. 
Kate Alsbury. Strangling my favourite apple tree, Russian ivy. Christina Chin. Winter storm gathering inside the scream of unspoken words. Tim Gardner. Just when I'd forgotten you, Bumblebee. One from me. Winter deep, bones frozen. Hemapriya Chelapan. Noontide, I become my shadow. James Young. A line on the wireless draws me in. Roberta Beach Jacobson. Dusk, a lake of chocolate. Marilyn Ward. Soft white baby blanket of snow. Dorothy Burrows. Tweeting sparrows mobbing a crow. Willie R. Bonkeron. Spring, shadow of winter, almost gone. Roger Watson. Dutch evening landscape, only the horizon. Tiffany Shaw Diaz. Night sets in body aches. Neelam Dadwal. Navigating through stars, a star my just wishes. Kim Russell. I wipe off the dust of isolation, filling time. Tracy Davidson. Breathless kisses, the effort to pretend all is well. Linda L. Ludwig. A child with a pure heart sees unicorns. Jonathan Roman. His first peach blossoms, daring to bloom. Catherine E. Winnick. Fireflies, dropping beads of light expired in the moment. Isabel Caves. Tamarillo branch. A leaf or a bird, or a leaf or a bird. Robert Horobin. Daffodils, a memory of childhood. Vandana Parashar. Vertigo, the tightening spiral of my thoughts. Corinne Timmer. Blooming Belladonna, how deadly my thoughts. Torsten Neuhaus. Monday, how I grow beyond myself. Miniko Takahashi. Fragrant Cypress, a new cutting board. Daniela Miso. Lingering among the wind's willow. Richard Sharma. Deep woods. Prodding the innermost self. Art Friedine. Cold fog lingering offshore. The beach closures. Devin Harrison. The stillness of sleep. Moonflowers. Rashmi Visa. A dark cloud lightens into a peacock song. Pearl. After the meteor shower, old stars. Mark Gilbert. One wave, my tongue remembers the sea. M. Shane Pruitt. A shadow, slow in the window, the moon. Nisha Ravi Prasad. At dusk, the sigh of waves in sync with mine. Nadia Kostadinova. Spring blossoms. Maybe later. Debbie Strange. Wild berries in the colander. Slow dripping rain. Erin Castaldi. Beneath yellow sleep. Early thunder. Richard Bailey. Valentine Day Mascara Massacre. 
Scott Silenga. Laundry Day. My daughter folds a paper crane. Eva Drobna. In the riverbed, a memory of the stream. Deborah P. Kolodji. To stroll a garden peacock. Wendy C. Bialik. Seven springs of rain. Wisteria blossoms. Isabella Kramer. Spring skin. The one petal makes the difference. Ian Speed. The veil lifts, revealing nothing. Craig Kittner. Outstretched hawk slips the wind between branches. And last but not least, something I found quite heartfelt and quite possibly felt by many of the poets here today. Anjali Warhadpandi. Just when I learned to walk the haiku path, a monoku. And so we conclude for today. I'll be back with another podcast in a couple of weeks tackling another topic related to the writing of haiku. And in a month's time, of course, we'll hear from you again, with your haiku and senryu, on the topic of ageing. One last reminder, don't forget the deadline is the 1st of June, and please send your submissions by email. Thanks so much for coming along and listening today, for sending me feedback, and for writing for us. If you haven't written for us before, or perhaps you haven't submitted to any publications, feel free to submit to the podcast. I'm happy to say that many people have submitted here first and grown in confidence and submitted and been successful elsewhere. Well, until next time, I hope you stay safe and well wherever you are in the world. And don't forget, even if you don't submit, keep writing. Do go and have a look at the show notes and the Poets Directory. And if you have the time, follow each other on the various social media platforms. It's always a treat to have new friends, even if it's only virtually at this stage. And if you need any more information, just email me. Ciao!